What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video and in this one it's going to be an extension of the last video where we've been using the playmaker target pass trick to go ahead and make a play that I actually talked about a few days ago. Why curl out of the gun bunch weak formation and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to effectively use that new concept on this play to really get some neat route combinations. So if you don't know what I'm talking about you're going to want to go back and watch the video where I broke down this concept and show you how to do it but basically it allows you to playmaker whatever receiver you want on the field whenever you want. So the basic uh, concept of this one, the base way that I've been running this is just blocking my tight end and then you want to set Brandon Cooks as your primary receiver as that's the route you're going to be wanting to playmaker most of the time. Um, as you can see, he has that inside stem, so his route looks very similar to, you know, like a corner route or like an S post route at the beginning. He's just running straight up the field, but now with the playmaker, you can playmaker him over the middle of the field and turn that route into an S post. So what you're going to see right here against cover two, it looks like we playmaker the pass rush collapsed the pocket on us. But as you can see, he was going to be running free down the field. The other thing is this route is very, very deliberate. So right there against Tampa 2, I'm running against the computer. But you know, most people, whenever they run Tampa 2, they like to put their middle linebacker into like a deep third. But the route is so deliberate, you can cut it off and the, the linebacker will actually outrun your receiver and he'll be too deep to make a play on the ball. So, and this is something that right there, I, I noticed the defense was blitzing. You don't have to tunnel on, you know, the route you want to playmaker every time. This isn't meant to just be like, you know, I'm tunneling, I'm throwing this route no matter what. You definitely want to mix it in and just make your your first reads and still have a progression. And this is something that you pull out, you know, at the right time or if the play breaks down, this is something you can go to. And it's just something that you want to make your opponent have to respect. So right there, once again, Everson Griffin got to me. Vikings have a really good pass rush, but that's something you can do. Uh, with that route out there now another thing that i've been doing is going ahead and max protecting and then what you can do is so you can turn that route into an s post or you can turn it into like a c route you can playmaker him to the outside and turn it into a c route so what you're going to see right here you get the flat route concept and then you throw the c route to the outside so you get the flat route coming from the backside with chris hogan on the drag so it's similar to like you know pa post people like to do pa post and drag a backside receiver to occupy the flat it's exactly what you're looking at here same exact concept and so you just read the flat he drops back you go ahead and hit the drag if he if it's a hard flat you can go ahead and hit the playmaker route that basically becomes a C route so that's something else you can do right here once again it looks like they're gonna be blitzing me because the safeties are moving up uh, but as you're gonna be able to see and you don't even have to playmaker this route you can still throw it like that's still a very very good route if it's wide open don't get fancy and try and playmaker it don't think you have to playmaker it every time you can just throw that I went over that in my last video where you can just low pass it to the inside and it's very very effective over the middle of the field now something else you can do is the base setup and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and use Edelman so now I'll have Edelman they'll be used to you playmakering Brandon Cooks but the left side route concepts are still very good you have you attack the flat very quickly with Deion Lewis you attack over the middle with Brandon Cooks and then you have a drag coming across and so those three routes really do a great job of playing off of each other. And then it allows you to have Edelman on the right side, generally all alone. And you just kind of make a read right there, send him over the middle of the field. You could see right there, the pass rush was able to get to me. Uh, but if I had another, you know, half a second, Edelman was going to be breaking open over the middle of the field, just like that. So and that's a route that's going to be very tough for your opponent to guard when you have so much going on on the left side of the field. You know, if you've been running this concept and they have to, you know, worry about, you the flat to Deion Lewis, the drag to Hogan, Cooks over the middle, Cooks turning into a post route, and then they also have to worry about you, you know, running basically a corner strike setup on the left side if you turn it into a C route. So their their user is definitely going to be preoccupied on the left side of the field. And then this route is just very tough for a CPU defender to try and defend right there. Uh, Edelman went a little bit further downfield than I would have liked him to, but he was able to make a great catch anyway. But as you can see, uh, this play just has a lot of potential in terms of just being diverse right there once again over the middle of the field. And it's just a route that, you know, the deep zones sink too, back, too far back because it's a slow developing route. And then the underneath zones, it just gets behind them and they're not able to make a play on it. So right there once again, playmaker him over the middle of the field, wide open, turning it into a post route. So this play just very, very versatile with this new concept. It was already a good play in my opinion. And now with the new concept and what you can do over the middle of the field, it just makes it even better right there. As you can see, that route still very, very effective. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Definitely comment. Let me know. 
have you guys found anything using this concept um i've basically just been messing with it in you know stuff like gun bunch i've been running carolina's playbook right recently uh, but carolina's playbook doesn't have y curl out of gun bunch unfortunately so i'm in the packers right now but you know i just kind of been messing around with some of the more popular formations to try and see you know what i can get out of those before kind of trickling down to some of the lesser seen formations but let me know if you found anything cool using this concept as always thank you so much for watching guys and until next time take it easy